Welcome to my channel. This is another episode of Daily News Clips. But before I get into that, I do want to thank you for coming to my channel, for watching my videos and supporting me, and for being such wonderful people. I really do appreciate it. I have several items on the agenda for today. This first one is titled, you're only for free speech if you defend it for people you hate. But before I get into that, I want to let you know that I'm also putting a link up for the Tucker Carlson encounter interview with Dan Ball. Dan Ball is affiliated with One American News. And the story that is told in this video, it's about 45 minutes long. <clears throat> he explains how members of Congress wrote to major cable companies and got them to remove One American News from their cable company. So they no longer make it available. In other words, they tried to censor a journalism outfit because they didn't agree with what it was reporting. U.S. Congress people did that. Oh, the world we live in, I'm telling you. So this first article that I want to talk to you about is about free speech. And I just want to read a couple of, uh, couple of lines in it. Um, it talks about what the various people have been trying to do, both Republicans and Democrats are trying to um, impose government regulations and laws to censor what they call hate speech. And even Governor Abbott in Texas has done it. So even in the uh, most conservative states in America, we still have people who don't seem to understand what the Constitution says. As a member of the, as a veteran of the military, one of the things that we were taught and that we learned when we were in the military was <clears throat> a, a statement, I may despise what you have to say, but I will defend with my life your right to say it. That was what we were taught. Now it's, I may despise what you say, so I'm gonna go get you shut down. That's not free speech. All of these efforts are violations of freedom of speech and we condemn them unreservedly. It's once again time to remind ourselves and our fellow citizens that the test of our commitment to free speech is when we demand its protection for our enemies and for speech we hate, not for our friends and for speech we like. That is the true test of whether or not you actually stand for free speech. If you're willing to defend someone who, whose opinions anger you, whose opinions you despise, then you truly do stand for free speech. And if you're not willing to do that, then you don't stand for free speech. You know, we're, we're having our campuses here in, in America um, disturbed, and I'm sure it's the same in Europe, by uh, Palestinian protesters, pro-Palestinian protesters. And as long as they remain peaceful, they have every right to say whatever they want to say, even to, from the river to the sea. We may despise it, but they have the right to say it. It's when they devolve into violence that they need to be stopped. They need to be thrown in jail for violence but not for speech. That is wrong. And times like these are a real test of who we are as a people. And we seem to be failing this test pretty miserably. This next article is an interesting one. Um, if you're familiar with Veritas, uh, that, uh, what's his name, O'Keefe, founded, and then he was thrown out. And so he's now founded his own agency to report. Um, 
He recently had did an, uh, he, not he, but one of his uh, uh, employees did an a undercover uh, interview with a CIA agent. And I'm going to read you what this guy said. He says, I work for the CIA. He didn't say I used to work. He said, I work for the CIA. Faselsi tells the unnamed citizen journalist on camera, indicating he has done so since 2008. I do cyber operations. I've been doing it for a long time. At one point, he brags about being... <laughs> <coughs> excuse me, fully vetted and having received TSSCI, that's top secret, uh, secret compartmentalized information clearance. That's the highest clearance you can get. I helped the mission center continue the contractor across the entire enterprise. Faselsi explained that he presently works for defense, for Deloitte, that's a, a, an accounting agency here in the United States, but based out of the CIA, and that he previously worked for Lockheed Martin, for Northrop Grumman, and for the Office of the Director of National Intelligence. So the CIA is supposed to be a foreign uh, intelligence agency. They're not supposed to operate on U.S. soil. But according to this guy, they're embedded all over the, the country in defense contractors, it's ridiculous. The, the CIA is such a rogue, illegal agency that it's unbelievable. After showing the undercover journalist what appears to be his green badge with a photo he indicates was taken in 2013, Faselsi says, okay, I'm getting a little nervous now. Chelsea Robinson, a spokeswoman, woman's, a spokeswoman for the agency, told the O'Keefe Media Group that the individual making these allegations is a former contractor who does not represent CIA. Well, he doesn't say he's former. Now, he might be lying. I mean, you know, the, the number of people that will brag about their, their undercover work is as long as you're armed. And so he could be completely lying. But she says, is a former contractor, so he at least worked for the CIA at one time. And you would think he has some knowledge of how they operate. But he talks about how when Trump was in office, the CIA withheld intelligence from him, the President of the United States. They withheld intelligence from him because they said he was an effing moron. <laughs> you know, when the, when, the, when the intelligence agencies are deciding what they're going to tell the president of the United States, who is their boss, we have gotten seriously off the rails. And unless you think this is a America-centric story, trust me, this happens in all of the Five Eyes agencies. Britain, Australia, Italy, France, Germany, it happens everywhere. These intelligence agencies have gotten to the point where they think they're more important than the leader of the country, that the information that they contain is for their eyes only that no one else should be allowed to see it. it it's it's crazy i don't know how you i don't know how you fix this problem but it's a problem and it's not just a problem in the united states it's a problem all over the world you know these intelligence agencies they're all they all know each other and they all communicate with each other all over the world it's almost like a shadow government And then this last article that I have for you today is here's how green groups get their agendas implemented in the administrative state bypassing Congress. And again, this may seem America centric, but I'm telling you, this is happening all over the world. The green, the green agencies, the, the uh, Sierra clubs and those types 
of uh, organizations, they work worldwide. They don't just work in the United States. And they use a process that they call sue and settle. So what they do is they sue the agencies. These are, these are government agencies that were established by Congress and that are supposed to follow the laws that Congress writes. But they bypass Congress, they go straight to these agencies and they sue them. So for example, um, they sued a, a, a law firm called Earth Justice, sued two agencies in the Department of Commerce uh, under the Endangered Species Act, seeking to force restrictions on oil and gas in the name of protecting wildlife. Now here's the thing. They got them to the government. They got the, the agencies, not the, not the people that we elect, not the people that are supposed to be representing us, but people who are completely rogue and on their own. They got them to limit drilling for oil and gas in the Gulf of Mexico. And the ostensibly it was to protect a certain type of whale. But they don't stop ships from going through there and the ships when they're traveling through there will kill oil, uh, whales at times because they hit them. They don't stop the people that are going out there into the Gulf and building windmills they don't stop them. <clears throat> and this is how they get around. You know, this is worldwide. This is how they get around. <clears throat> Excuse me, the will of the people. They just completely bypass the part of government that is, is supposed to, doesn't always, but is supposed to represent us. And they go directly to the agencies who are not answerable to us and they get them to do their bidding. So <clears throat> I'll put links to all these articles in, in the uh, description of my video. And you're welcome to read them, follow up on them. You know, you're welcome to disagree with them. That's up to you, but I put them there just so that you'll be aware of them. <clears throat> Excuse me, got a frog in my throat this morning. Uh, or this afternoon, sorry. But anyway, uh, the reason why I do these news clips every day is because I really want people to be aware of what's going on in the world. You, you may disagree with what I believe. You may have a completely different political uh, outlook than I do, but what I'm doing is I'm giving you information that's being reported and then you can do with that whatever you want. You can totally disbelieve it. You can believe it. You can just pass it off as a bunch of baloney. It's up to you. But at least you have the information in front of you. And that's my goal. As always, I pray for you that you will live an abundant life. That you'll be healthy. That you'll live a long time. And that God will keep you safe from harm. I pray that he'll do the same for every person that you love. And I pray most of all that you will be anxious for nothing, but in all things, through prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, you will make your requests known to God. And the peace that passes all understanding will keep your heart and mind in Christ Jesus. This is the Vietnam era vet, out.